Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and you are watching Sincerely KSO, the best film reaction channel if I might say so myself. We are going to go into X-Men The Last Stand from 2006. The last part that I watched was so heartbreaking because it showed that J Jane um, passed on, but there was this smirk that Professor X had on his face that made me feel some sort of hope. And that's why I'm diving into it immediately. I, it's been 24 hours. I haven't even edited the first part. Honestly, I haven't edited the first, you know, the one where Jean passed on. I just want to get into it and figure out what happened to her. I really believe I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that that smile was Professor X connecting with her somehow that she's still alive because he didn't really smile. But remember when he was talking to the students, he had this look on his face like res resolved peace. You know what I mean? He wasn't grief stricken like the others, like Scott and everything. There was something there. So I let me just in fact, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I like to thank the patron who has taken me on this journey. His name is Raga Raga, my darling. How are you? And I want to get into the movie and not talk too much. I want to welcome everyone. If it's your first time, you are so welcome. Okay. Play. Oh my god, I'm so excited to get into it. I usually I always wait till I edit the previous parts before moving into a new one but i i can't help myself i can't wait anymore i just 24 hours i i didn't plan to record today i didn't plan to do anything today i just wanted to, to come on and watch this and i made dinner for my family so nobody And I would expect you of all people would understand my feelings about the misuse of power. Ah, power corrupts and all that. Yes, I know, Charles. And absolute power corrupts. No. This one's special. You think your daughter is sick, Mr. Gray? Perhaps it would be best if we were to speak to her. Wow, oh, Professor X could walk at that time when they met 20 years ago. We'll um, leave you then. It's very rude, you know to read my thoughts, or Mr. Lencher's, without our permission. Did you think you were the only one of your kind, young lady? I like this one. Or let it control you. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on in there? Nothing, I'll be right out! Come on, you've been in there for over an hour. <laughs> let me in there right now! What? What is it? He's a mutant or what? What is his own? Sorry for what? Oh my god! Oh my god! I will be looking for Tenorian to, to help the wings be. Please, oh. Oh no. How, look at the torture the little boy is putting himself. How painful was that? I can't even deal with a paper cut. You now start cutting yourself in the back. No, please. No, please, oh. No, 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 no. Nothing to apologize for. I just wish all these mutant children knew about Xavier's school. You know what I mean? Maybe if they all knew they could go there without their parents' permission or something. For safety and protection. What's going on here? Storm, this hairstyle is not it. Every time they bring you out looking some kind of way. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. Logan? Oh, don't. Yeah, good luck with that. Throw me. Now. Damn it, Logan! Was this a training exercise or something? It was a defensive exercise. Yeah, best defense is a good offense. Hey, I'm just a sub. You got a problem? Talk to Scott. Ah! Have I ever put any pressure on you? You're a guy, Bobby. Your mind's only on one thing. Hey, Scott, we're looking for you downstairs. You didn't show. What do you care? Well, for starters, I had to cover your ass. I know how you feel. Don't. When Gene died, I said don't. Not everybody heals as fast as you, Logan. Department of Mutant Affairs. Ooh. Mr. Secretary? Yes. The meeting's begun, sir. 
We picked her up, breaking to the FDA of all places. You know who she's been imitating? We have some new prisons, Hank. We'll keep them mobile. Be a step ahead this time. My family tried to kill me, you pathetic meat sack. In here, with us. I don't want to play games with you. I want answers. You don't want to play games with me? You are going to stop this. Tell me, where is Magneto? You want to know where he is? But that's not why you called me here. No, this is. It's what she stole from the FDA. You realize the level of impact this will have on the mutant community? Yes, I do. When an individual acquires great power, the use... Now, this is a question we must all ask ourselves. Why? That turns us into tyrants over our fellow man. But Einstein said that ethics are an exclusive human concern without any superhuman authority behind it. Einstein wasn't a mutant, so far as we know. <laughs> now, this case study was sent to me by a colleague, Dr. Moira McTaggart. Jones? The man you see here was born with no higher level brain functions. Now, what if we were to transfer the consciousness of one person, say, a father of four with terminal cancer, into the body of this man? How are we to decide what falls within the range of ethical behavior and what... Class dismissed. The forecast was for sunny skies. Oh, I'm sorry. NATO's a fugitive. We have a mutant in the cabinet, a president who understands us. In fact, I thought that perhaps you might take my place someday. But you of all people know how fast the weather can change. On auto, Charles! <laughs> oh. Oh. I love what you've done with your hair. Mm. You too. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me on such short notice. Henry, you are always welcome here. Henry? But they called him Hank in the... Oh. Hank McCoy, Secretary of Mutant Affairs. Right, right. Hank the Secretary. McCoy. Nice suit. Henry, this is Logan. He's... Wolverine. Um... I hear you're quite an animal. Look at us talking. <laughs> oh, my God, look who's talking. A major pharmaceutical company has developed a mutant antibody. You can't cure being a mutant. Well, scientifically speaking. Since when do we become a disease? How can anybody in their right? These so-called well, mutants somebody wants are people, cure? just like us. I'm saying a difference. What if they want? Once the world's most famous prison will now be the source of freedom. I proudly present the answer to mutation. See now, who would she want? She might want it to be able to touch her boyfriend. Look at her eyes. You Not only persecution. Let's pause Both. here. Just give me a moment. Like, I, look, he's saying that is it cowardice to, you know, suppress, to want to protect yourself from persecution. That's one angle to look at it, right? But it's not even about the other person. Do you understand what I mean? Don't, I don't want the mindsets for us who are watching it. And let's look at it diplomatically. It's not only about because people are persecuting, even if it was a perfect world. If you personally don't want to be a mutant, you don't want to be able to freeze things with your fingers or like that, like, you know, or read people's minds. You don't want to have that power. You you don't want that stress. That like anytime you're walking, you can read into people's minds. Or you know that sort of thing. Or like, look at this um, guy, Hank. What if he's not able to change? And this is how he he looks. And he doesn't like hair. Or maybe he wants to have smooth skin. Because of his person, not even because people look at him and they're like, oh, but his own personal decision about his life, about how he wants to. He should be able to take this. I'm not opposed to the medication, but I'm opposed to them forcing it on you. It has to come from within. And I'm opposed to people changing it because of another person. If I want to have a boob job, it's my decision. No, I'm not doing it because, oh, I, I, my husband is putting pressure on me because he wants a woman with big boobs. No, that's a different mindset. You're doing it for yourself. You've decided, oh my goodness, I want smaller titties, so I'll have a reduction. Because maybe it hurts my back, maybe I'm uncomfortable, maybe I can't stand up straight, or maybe I just like, don't like big boobs, and that's there's a cure for it. So when they say that thing about persecution, 
that's one angle to look at it, but that shouldn't be the reason anyone should go take the cure if they want to. It's and I don't the term cure makes it seem like Storm was saying it makes it seem like oh it's a disease. That's not that's not the word they should use. Maybe they should call it choice or something. Is it cowardice to save oneself from persecution? Well, for all we know, the government helped cook this up. I can assure you the government had nothing to do. My boy, I have been fighting for mutant rights since before you had claws. Before you had claws. You want to know why? Because there's nothing to cure. Nothing's wrong with you. This is about getting organized, bringing our complaints to the right people. We need to show them, educate them. They want to exterminate us. This cure is voluntary. Nobody's talking about extermination. No one ever talks about it. Oh. They just do it. They just do it. See this and one you has go gone. on with your lives. The extermination has already begun. Make no mistake, my brothers. They will draw first blood. Uh -oh. They will force their cure upon us. Mm. Remember what happened to him as a child. Trauma is speaking. Who will you stand with? The humans? You talk pretty tough for a guy in a cape. Back off. Mm. So, you have talents. That and more. I know you control metal. And I know there's 87 mutants in here, none of them above a class three, other than you two. Mm. Could you locate one for me? Oh my gosh. You see, his trauma is speaking. Because of his childhood experience, he will never give humans a chance to round them up again. You know? Because that was how he got he got into the situation of that camp where he I'm the President of the United States. Oh, Mr. President. Shut up. Keep it up. I'll spray you in the face, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you myself. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Frey. I wouldn't even really accept that, Joe. He is a mutant. You understand our concern. We are in full compliance with your department's policy. How long will you keep the boy here? Until we can fully map his DNA. We can replicate it, but we can't generate it. And his power. What is its range? Hi. My name is Hank McCoy. I'm sorry. It's okay. You have an amazing gift. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, wow. Just coming in close proximity to him. Oh, wow. Extraordinary, isn't he? When was the last time you saw his hands? Who's the actor playing this blue person? I don't, do I know him? Because I can't make out his face somehow. He's giving me that Robin Williams vibes, but I can't make out his face. Scott, where are you going? Scott, Scott. Can Are you okay? Get to Alkali Lake. Please don't tell me she killed this man. Why was his face doing that thing that happens when Rogue sucks someone's power? Did you notice it? His skin was turning to like dried prunes kind of thing. <sighs> Why am I shaking? I'm scared. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. I can take care of that. Wait, 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 without taking care of it since. What is. Can we be patient? Be patient, be patient. Breathe, breathe. Oh. What the? 
she looked weird. She looked different. Did you guys see it? She looked somehow, it's not the long hair, even her skin, her skin looked orangey. Please, she would have hurt Scott now. Scott is like her husband, her boyfriend. They were Logan! Not... Please. She's alive. The only explanation of Jean's survival is that her powers wrap. Jean Grey is the only class 5 mutant I've ever encountered. Her potential practically limitless. When she was a girl, I created a series of psychic barriers to isolate her powers from her conscious mind. And as a result, Jean developed a dual personality. Dual personality? Well, the conscious Jean, whose powers were always in her control, and the dormant side, came to call itself the phoenix far more critical is whether the woman in front of us is the gene gray we know i'm trying to restore the psychic blocks and cage the beast again logan you have to understand you're talking about a person's mind here about gene she has to be controlled controlled you know sometimes when you cage the beast the beast gets angry well, it sounds to me like gene had no choice at all i don't have to explain myself least of all to you History will be made here today, for some are desperate for this cure, while others are offended by the very idea. Washington, isn't that the person that was on TV? I had this guy, the one whose son is a bird. You sure you want to start with him? I think it's important, yes. Wow. You know, I'm proud of you for doing this. And everything's going to be fine. They want to give him the medicine. Don't take it. Are you are you happy to take it? God, the way his dad is looking at him. Let me see the wings. Let me see. Don't let them give the it to you. The transformation can be a little jarring. I can't do this. Yes. Mom, calm down. <laughs> Angel Gabriel. Warren, it's a better life. For who? It's what we all want. No. no. Yes. Go out. Go, 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 go. Warren, no! How beautiful is this? She said she was going to kill you. Told you so. But that angel moment. I've been busy. Did you find what you were looking for? Cell 41205. James Madrix. I'm in. Welcome to the Brotherhood. You. Juggernaut. I can't imagine why. Sorry, my dear. You're not one of us. Such a shame. She was so beautiful. Pause, pause. This is hot. This is crazy. Eric is crazy. Like, what are you talking about? Do you realize? Uh, of course, you realize this girl jumped in harm's way to protect you. Like, is he so caught up in. And he, he is so big on loyalty towards the cause, but he's not loyal towards the mutants themselves. Like, he's using them as pawns. How can you say, this girl, Mystique has done everything. Mystique is the reason you are free. When you were held back in by that... Let me go back into my notes, please. I can't even... You were held. You were held and that idiot was injecting you with whatever. Striker was injecting you and she was the one who went into the bathroom, stuck iron into that person, had to kiss that cop that she probably wasn't something. She has been your right hand. She has followed you to the ends of the earth. And 
this thing she did was to protect if you lost your power all this would have come to an end you would just be an old man with nothing I, ah, uh, no, no. I didn't expect him to treat her that way. He threw her like a piece of trash. And this is just, this is a lesson to women who keep following men and they're not thinking, they're not using their number six. You're following this man, you're following this man, but at the end of the day, he's just getting and getting and getting from you. He's giving nothing. If you want to spend the rest of your life being a pawn, being you know a flea on a person's show it's it's your choice but let me tell you something when it, when you're no longer useful you'll be discarded so as much as you're giving make sure that you're getting you're not asking for that equal exchange because nobody everybody has their own gifts right so if you're giving cooking he might not be giving cooking but let him give you something he likes let him pick you flowers let him help you create a garden for you where you can have your relaxation spot if if he's bringing in Listen, love is sweet, but love is sweet when it's fair. When, you know what I mean? Not fair in the sense that you feel like, yes, I deserve it. But give what you're getting. Get something. Get something. Even if it's just a smile, it's not about money. Let the person at least make you smile. There are men who don't have money or women who don't have money, but they give their time. The one you can do, do. I remember when I was dating, I didn't have any money. I didn't have any job. But you see, care. Hmm. I, I, I'm a very good massage. If I handle your feet today, you won't go home. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll make you feel good. I can cook. I can clean. And this was before I had a job. So now that I even have a little bit of change, imagine the spoilage that I'm going to put you through. So what I'm saying is that make sure that you're not... This mistake gave everything. And she felt that she was safe with Eric. Anybody would have known that Magneto is not really correct up here. Because she would have seen what he did to his friend. You would have seen what he did to Professor X, before Xavier, before all this. And I said, oh, what, what made them part ways? That is his friend from 19, whatever, whatever. I, like, I just, no, no, no. He didn't treat her right. He didn't treat her right at all. No, you don't do that to people. Play. He was so beautiful. He was so beautiful indeed. The decision to turn the cure into a weapon was made without me. Mm. What happened on that convoy was inexcusable. But your actions... Hank, son. that was an isolated incident. You have to understand. Mm. Those mutants were a real threat. Have you even begun to think what a slippery slope you're on? You and I know that it's only going to get worse. All the more reason why I need to be where I belong. Oh, jeez. And the was in your place and you were in mine. Are you the one that woke her up? Logan, you're making me blush. Ah, this isn't Jean. Or Jean will never do this. Remember, she said, don't make me. She said, don't let me, don't make me do this. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Stop, stop, stop. No. Wait, this isn't you. Yes. yes, it is me. No. You think he's not in your head, too? Uh -oh. Look at you, Logan. Where's Scott? That is the question I've been asking since. You're in the mansion. You need to tell me what happened to Scott. Gee, tell me what happened to him. You can stay with me. Seth killed him. Kill me. Kill me. Professor can help. He can fix it. I don't want to fix it. So what do we do? Hmm. What do we do? We use this weapon as a lightning rod to bring countless more to our cause. Mm. I picked something up. An electromagnetic force. It's a mutant. Class 5. Where is she? Jean. Jean! What happened? What have you done? I think she killed Scott. What? 
Hey. That's not possible. I warned you. But he didn't know. He didn't know. Wait for me here. What? I need to see Jean alone. You were right, Charles. This one is special. What the hell are you doing here? Same as the professor, visiting an old friend. I don't want trouble here. Nor do I, Charles. So, shall we go inside? I'm shaking, you guys. I'm, I'm very scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> she killed Scott. Yeah. My nipples are... I feel anxious. I'm sorry, that was too personal. But when I'm... Oh, oh, the water is boiling. Oh, yay. Did you see her eyes, you guys? Did you see her eyes? She looked like, like a dead person or something, like a zombie. She looked... I knew you'd come. Of course. I've come to bring you home. Control. Eric, I don't believe your mind games are going to work anymore, Charles. I want to help you. Help me. What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. Eric, stop! No, Charles, not this time. Oh, You've really always right. held her back. For your own good. No. Look at me! You're using the wrong oh, words. Head. Professor, please. I think you want to give her the cure. Look no. what happened to Scott! You killed me! That's it. What is happening? What is happening? Thank you, thank you. Now I'm in. Good girl. Good girl. No, Jean, please, please, please. Professor, go away. Go away. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow. Just go away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Professor is fighting. Is it my thing? Why wouldn't Magneto help him? Magneto help. Oh God, he's lifting you up. She's lifting you up. She's lifting you out of your chair. Oh no, you can't die. No, 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 no. Please, Jean. Jean, please. 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 Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Please. Please, somebody come. Please. Please, somebody come. Somebody come. Somebody help. 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 Please. 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 Wolverine, quickly. Quickly. <laughs> quickly. 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 Jean. Jean, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh, my God. Don't let it control you. fair to have let him die like that ah it would have been better to die at the hand of an enemy oh it would have been better oh oh eric is stupid. eric killed this man hi magneto killed this man oh he was he was fighting he was fighting with his mind he wasn't speaking magneto he kept telling him no Stop it. Don't don't encourage her. He knew. He always knew. That's what he he because he had a level of trust. He had a level of trust with Jane. And he couldn't let anyone else see. If they had seen what he saw earlier, they would have all been afraid of her. Even in the house. She wouldn't have had look at the way the other students once they saw Rogue. Just they saw what Rogue could do, they were afraid of her. They didn't want her to touch. Professor held Jean's secret. 
he did. I didn't even know she was capable of this. No one knew. And he protected her. And to have died. To have died by her own hand. Oh, it's so painful. It's so painful. It's painful because... It's like she killed everyone she loved. Like she killed Scott. How could she kill Scott? And that's why once the normal gene came in that lab room, that's why she told Logan, kill me, kill me, kill me. Because she knew the Doran knew she knew that. Oh my god. It's so painful. It's so painful to me. I'm trying not to cry so I can express what I have to say. Magneto came in there and just started saying nonsense. Started saying nonsense that he's trying to hold you. He's trying to make you something. He wants to kill you. What's wrong with me? Absolutely nothing. Have you seen it now? Have you seen the thing that is wrong with her now? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Have you seen what is wrong with you you do, 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 do. I can't wait for you even this magneto to just get lost it would have been better if it was him how come it's always the good ones you know it would shut up when the thing I kept hoping that somebody would quickly I don't know I just kept saying quick people stop fighting go on don't think she lifted him out of his chair and you could see he wasn't speaking he was it was all mind it was mind you could see he was doing everything he could and she lifted him out of the chair the audacity to lift professor out of his chair is rude witch looking like wonder from hell she took him off his chair. I hope, Professor. She took him off his chair. I'm so mad. Look at my eyes. The audacity to take Professor out of his chair. So rude. Just looking like that Scarlet Witch. We live in an age of darkness, a world he tried to heal. When we were afraid, he gave us strength. Live on through us, his students. Wherever we may go, we must carry on his vision. And that's a vision of a world united. Kitty. He was the one that convinced me to come here. Yeah, me too. Kitty, get up. Come with me. Storm told us to stay in our rooms. Don't worry. We won't get caught. Oh, he's going to create ice for her to skate, right? Because of his cold thingy. See, Professor recruited all of them. He gave, he was so respectful. He didn't just say, oh, this one has more power. Or this one has less power. So the principal wouldn't come for your, you know what I mean? He, 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 they mattered. No matter their class, whether you were three or level, whatever. Oh, he went to everybody individually. Thank He's you for this movie. You don't know what it's like to be afraid of your powers. Be afraid to get close to anybody. I hope you're not doing this for some boy. Look, if you want to go, then go. Just be sure it's what you want. Marie. If that's what you want, then girl. Jean has ruined this thing for me. Honestly, I don't know if I can ever... I don't know. I just... And I don't want to hate her, but I just want her to die i'm so angry i'm so angry but professor would not want us to hate her like he'd want us to like i saw the next stage in evolution i can manipulate the metal in this
Enough! It's meant for all of us. If we want freedom... Her power is completely unstable. Only in the wrong hand. I stuck with you all the way. Would have killed the professor if he'd given me the chance. What? My single greatest regret is that he had to die for our dream to live. Professor Xavier started this school. Perhaps it's best that it end with him. I was told that this was a safe place for mutants. Hank, tell all the students the school stays open. Hey, Rogue. She's gone, Rogue. Hey, Pete. You seen Rogue? Yeah, she took off. Where are you going? Where do you think? It wasn't Jean. The Jean I know is still in there. Why can't you just let her go? Because. Because. Because you love her. Yes, she made her choice. Now it's time we make ours. So if you're with us, then be with us. Because she's fighting, right? Storm is now considered her class enemy. Get in the cure so you can go back home to mommy and daddy. Come on, Ice Man. Same old Bobby. It's not fear. You're not worth it. Our war will rage. Your cities will not be safe. Your streets will not be safe. You will not be safe. And to my fellow mutants, I make you this offer. Join us or stay out of our way. Enough mutant blood has been spilled already. This is now a national security matter. Mm -hmm. Seize and secure Worthington Labs. Magneto wants a war. We'll give him one. Let's go! Keep it moving! Turn in your old weapon! Turn in all metal! Bayonets! Magazines! Dog tags! Pick up your plastic! <laughs> He can heal, you cannot. You kept f moving forward. Oh, 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 this looks like horns. You know, ram, ram horns. Oh, oh, he bore a hole in his belly. Oh, oh, that guy's own power was. Oh, oh. They wish to. You will strike with a vengeance and a. And then. Nothing can stop us! Jean? I'm not leaving here without her. Yes, you are. And we... We have a satellite feed of Magneto's base of operations. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Okay. Set for 360 degree incursion. This is team leader to Bravo One. We are green to go. Okay, send them in. Okay. Ooh. Sorry, Mr. Secretary, it was a decoy. If he's not there, then where the hell is he? So how are we supposed to get there? So I don't swim. Storm! For what? You found her. Yeah, she's with Magneto. They're gonna attack Alcatraz. There are troops stationed on that island. Not enough to Do they know who this one's father is? That he's the War Fenton's son. Hers do not. There's only six of us, Logan. But we lost Scott. We lost the professor. If we don't fight now, everything they stood for will die with them. And we stand together. 
X-Men. They're ready. Yeah, I know. But are you ready to do what you need to do when the time comes? Oh. Oh, good question. Very true. You know, puppy eyes looking at at, at um rogue like not rogue Jean like she's meat ready to for you to devour. The, you know what I mean? If you can't kill the one you not kill, but if it comes to it and that's what you have to do, who would you choose? Because in war, once you hesitate, a lot can happen in that moment of hesitation. What's Bobby thinking about? He's thinking of... Just jump into the water. Jump into the water. If you can swim, but if you can't swim... Oh my god. Boys in the southeast corner of the building. There's shoot, shoot, start shooting. Start shooting. Shoot, shoot. The class one. You can't do anything. Yes. 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 Bravo. Okay. Okay. Target the bridge. Target the bridge. Yes. Fire, 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 fire. 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 Arclight, use your shockwaves. Target those weapons. Where are our ground troops? 30 minutes away. Just my clapping. for him. This wind cannot blow a hundred people out, then don't irritate me. Better. Better. The juggernaut, bitch! You're the guy that invented the cure, right? No! I don't do anything! <laughs> oh, oh, you get the point! Oh, Dory, I'm here to help you. Oh my God. What's going on? Your powers won't work with me. I'm the wrong guy to play hide and seek with. Who's hiding? Oh, he knocked himself out. Oh, good one. Your power isn't working in close proximity. Do we look like we need your help? See it. See it. See it. Your son. <laughs> Where is Bobby? Make it ice, make it ice. You know what I mean? Is it isn't it like the simulation that Let's 
defense is a good offense. Storm, we're gonna need some cover. Right. I hear you need batteries. This thing comes from within. Bobby's own comes from within. Yours, you need assistance. Once your match can't light up, you will know yourself very soon. You will know yourself very soon. You know what you're doing. No you need way. To go back to school. You never should have left. We get a strike. You never learn, do you? Actually, I do. what they want for all of us. <laughs> Look at you. He's shaking. He can't believe it. He wants... Oh, you've lost it. Oh, you poor Eric. Oh, are you going to cry? Are you? Oh, sorry. It's over, Jean. Indeed. Oh my God. Oh, you can't fly anymore. You have to. How do you want to stop her? It's not about it. Oh, oh, because. So he's the only one who can stop her because he can't, his own can't, um, he can't, he has the power of, um, to, to, to rejuvenate, to, what is the word I'm looking for, to, see, 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 see what I'm saying, he can repair himself, he has it, he can't, oh, 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 that must be painful, oh, 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 the adamantium. Oh, gee, oh, gee. Oh, Adam and Jean. I love you. I'm so weak of, from crying. I just, this is just so painful. This isn't what I wanted. I know. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Human and mutant alike. Dr. Hank McCoy. Hank. Those ugly ears anywhere. Stop. <laughs> what? You know what I have not I don't I just I just I just I just I just I just I can't even I've I'm crying I'm sad I'm I'm happy they won the war, but I just, I'm so sad for Jean. I'm so sad that she lost the battle in a way because she didn't get her happy ending. She didn't live. She killed the man she loved. Everything she had practiced 
for so long, all her life. From that moment, Professor walked into her house and was trying to teach her how to control her powers. From that moment, it seemed like she has been living in a cage and a cage she did to protect the world only to the last few days of her life for her to destroy so much it's it's painful it's so painful because she she had no power of her own she couldn't stop it she couldn't oh no Jean just suffered and I feel so bad because there was, she was still in there in her soul. She was still in there and to live with the fact that she killed her, like Professor was like her father because her own father didn't even acknowledge her and to know and to know because when she woke up in the, in the lab and um, Logan said to her, and she said, where is Scott? And she was like, kill me. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like a part of her, in that moment, last moment of Professor X, a part of her was probably trying to fight the Phoenix. You know what I mean? Like she was probably wrestling with herself to save him and to see her father like, Professor X just died, shatter. Like, that just breaks my heart because I don't know why, maybe I'm just oh, too emotional for this because it's, you guys don't understand. It's like when a person passes on, at least you have the body, you see, you can see her goodbyes. But she ruined him she didn't she turned him to dust like it, he can only exist we don't get to have his dna we can't bring him back we can't do anything do you understand you guys he was turned to dust nothing so professor now just leaves in the heart and minds of his students we can't go like those are his bones like not that it matters because i just because in my <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with emotion. I'm overcome with emotion. But somehow I always say, like, I feel it in, in the fiction universe. Like, I'm thrusting myself into that world. And if we could have the bone, we can get the DNA, we can recreate. You know, I have that mindset. I feel like, oh, we can do something. How do we bring Professor back now? Even if we, you know what I mean? And then, Scott, what did he do? to just die like this that is like it hurts me it hurts me that they just it, these two people just died like that Jean has been you realize how strong she was not even the phoenix i mean Jean to have spent 20 years Holding on, you guys. I, this is making me so emotional. Holding on for the students, for the school, for the world. All that weight on her shoulders. Buttoning herself in. So that she can. So that she can. Oh, this just makes me feel. And Logan having to kill her. His body tearing and ripping. The look on Eric's face. I hate him so much. Like, at one point I admired him. I just felt like, yes, he just wants to give mutants a reason to be proud of themselves but it just got so out of hand after he treated mistake so badly and i just said like eric what is the point and like he lost me in the moment where he wanted striker's son 
decent to kill all humans like i just like eric like are you so bitter are you so angry you've lived so long are you telling me you can't you haven't seen a good human being worth convincing you to change your mind or that and then that angel that angel of a creature and his father he was like no i was like oh my goodness look at the way he came his wings just spread out like that and then he ran through the window and he just jumped out and spread his wings like you know what i mean and then it is that thing that you wanted to destroy that comes back to save you they flung you off a building i should have if i was the son i'll just let his head scratch the gravel a little bit and give him like it was part in mind in his head. I just, I don't know. I'm just so emotional. I guess. I guess I'm. I'm just so emotional about it. I just like. I. I can't pick who. I. I. I understand. I'm rogue, and her decision to do what she did. It's that human touch is necessary. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's necessary in life. Honestly, hers is the is the most painful of all the gifts to have it's necessary it's not even about intimacy sex just just touch like this ah you won't feel any every day you be wearing gloves no 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 I, I i would take it too if i were her i would i would i would all right my darlings who else would you have wanted me to discuss that juggernaut hey 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 Mm hmm fearful that one who may change into many um people he's okay he's okay i like that hank they called him hank they called him Her henry right oh jean poor jean poor jean Oh, poor Jean. Honestly, I, I feel for her. I really do. All right, my darlings. <sighs> On to the next. Hey, my darlings. So I uploaded the um, my reaction to X-Men The Last Stand. And in the comments, you guys told me there was an end credit. So I went back to look for it, right? And I'm watching it now. I'm watching it now. Who is this? Who is this? Hello, Moira. Wait, what? What's this? That's that's Professor X's voice. Wait, what? What is that? So you guys remember what happened in Xavier's class in the beginning. Moira was the lady who appeared on the screen. I'm just putting two and two together. Moira appeared on the screen and she was talking about, he said a video was sent to him. There was a man in that video. Are you telling me that Xavier found a way to, because Moira said, Dr. Moira said that he hadn't moved in a while, like brain dead. And Xavier was telling the class that there is a possibility of moving personalities into other bodies. Are you telling me he found a body, a host? 